Up on 7:30 this Saturday morning. I'm Josh Robertson. Let's get another check on your weather authority forecast. There's a lot going on this weekend, Hannah. What's the weather look like? Yeah, we have a holiday weekend. There's a lot of activities, and it's actually looking pretty nice this morning. You can see it is pretty dark out there, so we have a lot of cloud cover. We're watching some coastal storms right now, but it's feeling pretty nice. We're into the mid or high 70s. That humidity. 93%. So if you are headed out to do anything today, you're going to be feeling that humidity more so than we have this week because we're seeing those dew points a bit higher. We have all of this tropical moisture. That's what's popping up those storms there along the coast. We're tracking a couple of heavier storms and showers moving across the river right now and just offshore of Grand Isle there. And then most of that rain coverage right now, Terrebonne Parish, almost all of these seeing some rainfall. Homa, you're about to see that rain here in just a second. And that continues to push towards the northeast. We're not really seeing that dissipating. So Lafouche Parish is coming for you next. We'll have to watch as those storms make their way towards the north. Now, this wet pattern is what we're going to start seeing as we go throughout this week. That's dropping our temperatures just a bit down to the 90s. We've been a bit higher than that, nearing the mid-90s this week. And so we will see less periods of sun than we have been seeing. Rain chance, 60%. We'll have to watch for some storms. And with those, we could see some heavy rainfall. So slight risk for most of the area of flooding today. When we see that heavy rain, we know we will have that threat for street flooding in many of the metro areas. So once we get to the afternoon, all that daytime heating going to fuel those storms. Some of those could have some heavier rain. And then we'll clear up for the evening. If you have night plans, that won't be an issue. Then we'll be clear again until tomorrow morning into the evening. We'll have to watch for those afternoon storms once again. And then we're just going to do the same thing. But Monday, I'm thinking that coverage might not be as widespread. They seem to be moving quicker towards the northeast, but we will still be seeing those storms for Labor Day. So it's going to be a very typical summertime pattern. Bring your umbrella with you if you're getting out there this weekend and your raincoat. But then make sure that you're knowing in those periods of sunshine, it's also going to feel very hot with all of that moisture and that heat out there. So most of the rain we're going to see this week is off the coast there, but some of us could see over three inches of rainfall as we go through the next seven days. That's because we're going to see a surge in tropical moisture. You can see it just flowing into the area. And we have a front stalled to the north of us. So that's all going to squeeze that moisture into our area once we get into the end of the week. Really seeing that moisture surging. And then once that low pressure starts to move off, that's when we'll see things start to shape up. And we'll see a little bit of a change in the pattern. But we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of rainfall through this week. Hopefully we get a brief break Monday and Tuesday, but into the end of the week, we're still going to be seeing those high rain chances. And we were above average for a little bit into the start of September, but I'm thinking we'll see those temperatures falling below average as we head into this week. And we could even see those temperatures falling down into the mid 80s once we get to the end of next week. That's because this low pressure it's going to really take over the eastern part of the U.S. there. That's going to increase our rain chances. We're going to see those temperatures dropping as that expands. And it's also going to navigate those storms that we're seeing in the tropics right now. So here's a brief update on that. Nothing in the Gulf. We're clear. We're just seeing some increase in moisture. Right now, though, Tropical Storm Earl. This is our fifth name storm of the season. And we have Tropical Storm Danielle. You might have remembered that was a hurricane, now downgraded to a tropical storm. So here's Earl headed towards the northwest, and then we see that northerly turn as we head into the middle of the week. So Earl is not going to be a bother to anyone as we see that head out to sea. And you can see that convection is pretty okay looking there. And then far to the northern Atlantic, there's tropical storm Danielle. We could see Danielle become a hurricane again briefly, but all of this far out there, we are not worried about these tropical systems. We're just going to see that brief intake of moisture as we head through this week. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll get a little break there Monday and Tuesday, but I'm thinking we'll have a very wet week ahead. So make sure you're mm -hmm. planning for that if you're headed out, especially this weekend. But I do like the drop in temperature later this week. Again, I just I know we're getting closer to fall football season. I associate all that with cooler temperatures, and I wasn't expecting to see. That's not, I mean, it's not cold or anything, but that's still not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not cold. It will feel cooler, though. I mean, if we've been, we've been into the 90s this week and mm -hmm. it's been pretty dry so it will definitely feel on the cooler side we could start to see those fall fronts but we'll have to watch for that it's I definitely going to increase our range that's my favorite time of year football and fall weather all right thank you very much there hannah